Hey guys, it's Potatoes, and today we have another Battlefront guide. The guide is, how to get more kills and walker assault without a hero. Now this was one of the most requested guides on my channel, because everyone wants to have loads of kills, to be on top of the leaderboards, and don't forget the most important one, rage messages. Now let's get into it. Now first thing first, die less. Now you might think, how does dying less contribute to how many kills you get? Well, what it does is it sets you back from the action, meaning less kills for you. Especially when you don't have a partner. Here in this clip, it took me over a minute and a half of running to get back to the spot that I wanted to be in. Yes, I realized I died twice in that sped up part, but that's what happens when your streak gets messed up. It also helps your trait, which has a huge factor in this. Once you die, you'll lose your trait level, and you'll be forced to level it back up again from level 1. Now in the little info tab at the top right corner, you can see all my other tutorial videos that can help you prevent you from dying. So yes, let's get back into it. So in order to die less, you have to make sure you're not overwhelmed. How you can do that is by reading the scanners. The more red it is, the more enemies there are. Taking the risk gives you extra kills in the moment, but might cost you the overall kill amount. And I enjoy taking big risks, that's why I use the personal shield. With 250 shield health, it can easily get you in and out of sticky situations. Step 2. Knowing where the enemy will come from. So in order to do this, is simply by playing. Playing Walker Assault or any other game mode enough, you will eventually learn where the enemies will spawn and rush in from. Getting flanked because you're not knowing where the enemies are coming from is a bad reason to die. Once you are able to learn the enemy's spawns, you will be able to position yourself accordingly to your playstyle and get more kills. I have a few examples here, it shows where the Rebels and the Imperials spawn during the first stage of the Forest Moon of Endor Walker Assault match. The Imperials spawn on the other side of the river, they almost always follow the orange red line towards the enemies. For the Rebels it's a bit more complicated. There is two different main spawns, one for each uplink station. There is also one additional minor spawn that rarely spawns you there. Here are two examples. One is out of the back door inside. And the other is running up the hill towards the big log. Step 3. Player Positioning. Now this one is a complicated one. There are many ways to position your player that can help you get kills, such as tilt peeking, jitter peeking, head glitching, and more. Now all of these, again, I have in separate videos in the info tab of the top right corner of the screen. Head glitching minimizes the size of the hitbox the enemy can shoot. Tilt peeking is a super simple way to find enemies without them seeing you. And there's a lot more. But hopefully you've watched those, or you will watch them now and come back to this video. So player positioning. Your goal when positioning the character is to make your kills unexpected and quick. Preferably the high ground. It's over, Anakin. I, have the high ground. I have a few examples of me taking those spots that you want to be in and take advantage of it. Here is an example. It works for a bit until the enemy team starts targeting me. So the way I had positioned myself was to be able to shoot the enemies up Why would you 
attacking signal initialized. And another example I have, I pushed up to the left of where the enemies spawn, so when they get pushed far enough, I was able to get a bunch of free kills because of my flank. So here are some good tips for getting better positioning. Try finding places that allow you to shoot enemies without them being able to shoot you back. As easy and as broad as this sounds, it will actually help. Any type of hill you can find can actually turn into a head glitching location. Trees, boxes, anything you can find around you can be used as cover. So if you start getting shot at because your spot wasn't the best, you can move to each of these cover spots to regain health. Step 4. Stay near points of interest. Points of interest are different parts of the map that people will most likely push towards, such as uplink stations, different stairways, attacking the ATAT -AT during the weak spot, and all those places that lead towards the objectives. As positioning myself around all those places will get you even more kills. Here in this clip, I shoot at the objective and I'm not on it. What this does is combine the good positioning aspect along with the points of interest aspect. Being near to the uplink might give out the same effect as being on it. You can actually do as much and even more damage to the enemies just because you are playing smarter and staying alive. Well thank you guys for taking your time and watching this video. I hope all these tips were able to help you get more kills in a walker assault lobby. Let me know what you guys think about this video, as most of it, well actually some of it, was actually just unscripted and I just went along with it. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and see you guys in the next video.